Hello everybody and welcome to today's devotional in the Living True 40 Days to Get Back to You Challenge. Let's just jump right in here to day five. God is all powerful. With man, this is impossible, but with God, all things are possible. Matthew 1926. My friend Lisa Harper is amazing. She's a brilliant Bible teacher and hilarious storyteller. Lisa adopted her daughter Missy from Haiti, and several years back, she and Missy decided to return to the village where Missy was born. During their stay, Lisa hosted a small Bible study to encourage some of the local women. During one of the, those meetups, a lady came up to Lisa frantic, pointing to her knee and talking loudly in Creole. Lisa looked down and was horrified by what she saw. The lady's knee had swollen to the size of a huge grapefruit. It was oozing something, and it smelled terrible. The woman was obviously desperate for help, but Lisa had no idea what was going on or what she was supposed to do about it. Compelled to do something, Lisa reached in her bag and pulled out some peppermint oil to rub on the lady's knee. Well, she thought... This might make it feel tingly, so she'll think something is happening, and at the very least, it will make it smell better. Lisa put some peppermint oil in her hands and rubbed them together. Then she placed her hand, hands on the lady's knee and began to pray that God would heal her. Her heart and prayers were genuine, but come on. This needed more than some peppermint oil and prayers. When Lisa finished praying, she opened her eyes, looked down, and could not believe it. Her hands were placed on a completely normal-sized knee. The lady's knee had shrunk under her very own hands. Lisa jumped up and ran around screaming like a crazy person in complete disbelief. I can't blame her. I would have too. But in the very next moment, she felt God say, Lisa, you were screaming in shock because you didn't believe I could do that. I can't tell you how many times I've felt like Lisa, completely shocked when God displays his power in my life in tangible, supernatural, inexplicable, and sometimes scary ways. God has started my car when it was completely dead. He's put the exact amount of money in my bank account that I desperately needed to pay a bill. He's shrunk a massive nodule on my thyroid when doctors said they would only grow. God has performed countless miracles in my life in big and small ways, and every time I'm amazed at what He can do. Our God is a God of infinite power. Our God is a God of infinite power. Nothing is too hard for Him. You may have heard this story from Matthew before. Then He got into the boat, and His disciples followed Him. Suddenly, a furious storm came up on the lake, and so that the waves swept over the boat. But Jesus was sleeping. The disciples went and woke him, saying, Lord, save us, we're going to drown. He replied, You have, you have little faith. Why are you so afraid? Then he got up and rebuked the winds and the waves, and it was completely calm. The men were amazed and asked, What kind of man is this? Even the winds and the waves obey him. Matthew 8, 23 through 27. It's easy to read stories like this and just dismiss them. We think, oh, that was just back then. God doesn't do stuff like that now. But friend, he does. God not only can, sits, can still show his power in amazing ways, he actually loves to. Christine Kane says, impossible is where God begins. Even though you and I hate being painted into a corner, God loves it. It's that exact scenario that allows God to show up and display what He can do. You might need a door to be opened today, a test result to be clear, a marriage to be saved, a car to be started, or a need to be shrunk. Whatever it is, I want you to know that God can do it. Not just back then or for them, but today, right now and even for you and me. Reflection and Prayer How do you see God working in your circumstances? Where in your life do you need God to show up and perform a miracle? Spend time in prayer today reading this aloud. I pray that the eyes of your heart may be enlightened in order that you may know the hope to which He has called you 
the riches of his glorious inheritance in his holy people, and his incomparably great power for us who believe. Spend some time in prayer today asking God to help you see his power at work in your life in a new way. Ask him to perform a miracle where you need it. And ask him to help you really genuinely believe that he will do it. God is all powerful. And that's going to do it for today's faith. Stay tuned tomorrow as we venture on to day six. And I really hope that um, these devotionals really did something for you this past week. I hope that you um, took some time to pray and reflect on some th certain things in your life. I know that I have. Thank you for taking this journey with me, and I'll see you tomorrow.